Pause system test. Okay. Vancouver to Kelowna and we head east from the west coast of Canada for about a 45 minute flight so we just get everything all of our buses uh, turned on we've got our GPS uh, set bleeds on and our pedo heats uh, on looks like a pretty clear day at the moment so we don't need to worry about uh, icing issues at this stage and everything looks good up there so we'll just go and check our warning lights here uh, so just so far we've just got the park brake set and uh, the bleeds are set to automatic so we put a little bit of uh, up out and we will just set our elevators uh, to take off trim just at the bottom of the green there and let's uh, look at getting out of uh, here so the wind is coming from the north so let's just have a look at our maps here and uh, let's plot a course for a new flight just so you guys can see where we're going and keep a tab on everything that we're doing tonight as we it's fairly early morning flight from Vancouver to Kelowna we're leaving about 7 30 in the morning sim time so we'll just create our route here to Kelowna right there so what we can do is we can actually program this uh, these waypoints in so the first waypoint here is uh, the Watcom uh, VOR HUH -H. so let's uh, just key that in here heading to H U H Follow the 
all the way through to the IWAC intersection. I W A C K and then from IWAC we'll head to the head to the Prince Princeton VOR. It's YDC. through to Kelowna so we should see that replicated here on the map and set the GPS as our navigational aid and we'll be setting that into the uh, autopilot Climbing to an altitude today of 15,000 feet initially. Let's see what the view's like up there. And we'll climb at about 2,000 feet per minute. Everything's looking good. Our altimeters are set. And let's. Get ready to fly. So the wind's coming from the north. Let's just quickly see what uh, runway we're going to leave from. So we'll leave from probably the one of the twenty sixes. get the airport diagram up so we know where we're taxiing. There we are. So we'll probably just swing around, swing right around to the right and we'll head up to, uh, we'll head up to Juliet Alpha and we'll follow that all the way through to Tango and we'll jump onto Mike and then we'll head down to the, uh, the starting point, 26 right. So welcome aboard everyone. Here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Let's make our way around to the right of this pier here.
few clouds out today, a few scattered clouds, nothing major. Beautiful Vancouver Airport. Fairly quiet in Vancouver today. Of course, COVID 19 has affected a lot of uh, flights internationally, so it is quieter than normal. It's just us and a few other domestic flights that are taking place throughout beautiful Canada. Just do fine with the sim that if there's an interruption in uh, any internet connection or if a slow slow down for whatever reason it uh, it doesn't recover. It's got to restart everything and just to get those frames back. That's what I found anyway. So. Just uh, have our taxi light on. Welcome aboard viewer, 
We're just taxiing to 26 right here at Vancouver and we're going to be flying to Kelowna today. Get on the chat, let us know what sim you're flying, whether it's Flight Simulator 2020, FSX, Prepared, DCS World, whack it on there. But we are getting set to fly out to Kelowna. It's a beautiful morning here in Vancouver. Apologies if you joined the stream earlier, we had a few technical issues, so we had to reset everything. But we're back at it now. Getting ready for our flight east. Should be some beautiful views today. Clear, clearish skies, a few clouds around. Nothing major. Sock just gently flapping in the breeze there. Look like we're pretty clear on the right there, so we'll just uh, have one more quick look there. pretty clear. Clear down the left as well. So we're right to enter 26 right. Actually, these pedals work alright tonight. They've been a bit interesting lately. So the aircraft wants to fly. down here. Just dial some some of that torque back. I want to spring the flaps up. Change the refresh rate on the uh, on the PFD. I forgot to do that earlier when we had a couple of little issues, so we'll fix that. We'll fix that soon.
a shot there of uh, Dan, down Vancouver and overflying the airport, it's off our left wing. Too bad, on the way to Kelowna, heading east. Back out and change that. Uh, just change that refresh rate for the um, the glass cockpit. Won't be a second here. Just won't take one second. Hi, apply, and let's go back in here. There we go. Sorry, guys. That's better. And as soon as we've come back in, we've just lost our frames. I don't know what's happened there. It's a crazy, crazy simulator, I'll tell you. Star. What is going on, brother? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen Al tonight. I don't know what he's up to, actually. Just got to make a couple of uh, little changes here. We've just had a bit of an issue with the... Um, Simulators just a little bit. No, man, you're telling me it was fun, right? So what happened? Look at these viewers, they're jumping on. Far out, man. Everyone, we're on our way to Kelowna. Let's go. Start that chat again, man, because I've lost it on the screen. I don't know what's going on tonight. 
We've got all the bugs in the world tonight, everybody. All the bugs have come out to play. I don't know what the, what's going on. Gibbo, P6. Difference to where? One point five seconds. Hey, check out this too. Woo! I don't know where my maps are gone though. There they are. We're getting there. We are getting there. Following it all the way along there. Beautiful, man. Far out is GT4. Nineteen people. That's perfect, man. That's what we want. So what we want is swapping the fuel over to the right tank so we can even up the fuel from left to finish line. So what happened man? How come all the GT4s went so well? This is crazy stuff. crazy man I don't get it far out that's crazy man It was Bathurst, wasn't it? That's full on. <laughs> 201. That's out of control. Uh, the viewers that are on, say hello. Drop a line in the, uh, the stream chat. Catch up with Venno. He's always on, jumping on the flights. GT3 racing legend in a set day course of competency on it. The bloke goes fast. He loves his flying too, so yep, send him a line, say hello. Wow. It's not bad going, man. Two oh one point two. What's Shad's doing around Bathurst, so man? Whoa. Whoa. Maybe flop it up should be the. Uh, we get him in the heat team, man. Rocket two oh two. Some crazy stuff. Just casual racing, far out, man. It's crazy. He needs to get amongst it.
That's amazing, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Far out. Two by two is race pace. I can't even remember what I was doing at Bathurst last season. Was it like maybe two o? Was it maybe o five? On a good day, o six. Four seconds. I don't know how people find that in Bathurst, man. What were you doing? Okay, fours. Racing on? Of course. Bet you wouldn't be doing 206s without the racing line. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, baby! Woo! Hot topic. Oh, GD4. You weren't doing 204s in GD4. Yeah, I was going to say. 218s. I see the old Duxter sucking up on the uh, Discord, mate. What's going on there? That's crazy. It's come to life. Must have had a blue with Sarge, eh? Woo! see the if you haven't driven racing simulators without the racing line it can be difficult all I know is that I used to use the racing line all the time to uh, get an idea of how the, uh, the track layout the turn the turn ins etc but I was pretty determined just to learn to race without it but it took a little while. It took a little while. I started doing it on F1. F1 2018, maybe. And then as I got a bit more confident, I just um, used it, <coughs> turned the racing line off in Forza, all that sort of stuff. And then um, naturally, when ACC came out last year, I just started racing it without it right from the start. So. Do you race um, with the racing line on in the cockpit? Yeah. <clears throat> See, um, I don't know how. I don't know how um, Gibbo can do it um, with Bonacam. I just don't know how he does it. Shelp. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, mate. Absolutely. Look at this flight simulator, man. Let's go. Not yet, man. Soon, hopefully. Soon, maybe. I don't know. This month, I was talking about. I'm thinking maybe June. they hit each other or separately <laughs> oh sorry man bloody hell didn't pump the brakes after lamb hit himself what does that mean man how does lamb hit himself Was that lamb? The lamb spun out after overtaking him? It's weird, man. It's weird. Yes, he do it. Was it up at Skyline? It's the only place I can think where it could happen. driving though seriously I think I've spun everywhere on Bathurst except there Is he driving GD fours too? I'm a 
aboard to our new viewer. Drop us a line. What are you flying? What's going on? We're just on our way to Kelowna in British Columbia in the TBM. Cruising at 15,000 feet. GD4s. Not a lot of room up there on the downhill. If you're new to the stream, jump on our uh, on our Discord. If you're keen, I'll post up the link. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, all the information is in the video notes below. Jambo and the GD4, as well as he driving. McLaren. What's wrong with him, man? So hopefully he's on the stream. If you're on the stream, Jambo, what's the go with the Aston? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought I saw he was going to race drive the McLaren, but uh, he'll jump off that and jump in a TBM and fly to, fly to Vancouver or something, hopefully. Jump online. To our new viewer, hope you enjoy the flight. Fairly clear today in British Columbia. Spring time in North America. You did, Camaro, fantastic. Shit on out in the TBM tonight. Woo! Well, the autopilot in the sim doesn't like to stick. Especially with altitude. Set it to 15,000 feet, it's creeping. It just keeps on creeping up. It's very weird. Cyrus has got a couple of issues with the Xbox. It's got the stutters. Four viewers, let's go. On our way to Kelowna. Welcome aboard. Like and follow the stream if you're on uh, Twitch, if you're on YouTube. Subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Welcome aboard. 532 from Vancouver to Kelowna in British Columbia. Bad flying conditions, a little bit bumpy up here. Let's get the Kelowna code CYLW. Let's key that in and we'll just see. So we're 69 miles from Kelowna at the moment. With the 
about 45 miles to run. We'll start our descent into Kelowna. And hopefully we'll have a good landing tonight. My good mate Venom Amber is in the stream, chatting away. Yeah, he said, mentioned something about the, uh, the amount of cars on the track was causing stutters at the last corner or something. Which is never great. But I mean, what do you do? Seriously, not much you can do, is there? Welcome aboard viewers, thanks for jumping on the stream and taking the time to uh, grab a bird's eye view of this flight from Vancouver to Kelowna, we're about halfway through, not long to go now, it's about 10 miles from our top of descent into Kelowna, let's work the map up for you, there we are, well, if you haven't got Navigraph maps and you're flying Microsoft Flight Simulator, I highly suggest that you download the software, pay your subscription and get on board. That's what it's all about. Good times. Oh man, come on. What a night, brother. setting up the uh, racing cockpit yeah man I'm tired it's been a massive day got home late from work big day had a feed Whew. crazy stuff man so as you can see the busy days man getting home late I just don't have time to set everything up get a bit of practice in it just feels like it's such a, a nightmare but 61 clients what's wrong with your boss man Needs to sort that out. When that gets to 45, we'll start our descent, mate. Doo -doo -doo -doo. to race again. We've also just got to work a few things out in the studio here to work out where everything's going to go. We'll be right though. We'll be right mate. We'll be right mate. No issue. No problem. It's good having a bit of time off away from racing though. Yeah I'm missing out but you know what? I live vicariously through you guys. I saw your Adam on there, he's not a bad bloke, he used to race with us at IXRL. Come here, come. The dog's playing up man, seriously. What's wrong with this bloke? Anyway, let's uh... No, I IXRL. So he raced, I think he might have been in Jam's team. So we had three man, we had three driver teams over there. 
So I, I it was me, <laughs> me, Sarge, and Staliono. And we were Blitzen, man. We were Blitzen. Yeah, pain in the ass. Not a team player, man. I remember there was one race where we needed the points for our team to stay on top of the championship. And uh, I was quicker at Nürburgring. And he was deliberately blocking me halfway through the race. It was terrible, man. It was bad. And we all blew up at him after the race and uh, it was pretty much sort of started to come towards the end of our relationship with uh, with those guys because it's a real smart ass you know but we let him know it's all good <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, I think we can all put it to bed now, mate. I think we're uh, on our way now to just calming everything down and just doing what we've got to do. time today but I'll uh, reach out to uh, Jimmy B's and the crew tomorrow true chair true chair yep Kelowna Yeah, it's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. Everyone's going to love that. It's going to be pretty cool. Approach. Wind coming out of... Okay. Runway 3-4 will do. Gonna follow the river. All the way around. As you can see on the map, you'll learn something here, Venom. We'd normally set up an approach from Ignap all the way, follow the river all the way around. All the way around here and bang, up to 3-4. So we'll we'll do that manually tonight. Out for the birds, mate. Absolutely. <laughs> What's that mean, man? Chicken? What? Watch your chickens. Watch out for chickens, mate. This jambo, man. Not on my stream. What's wrong with this bloke? Birds. Yep, chickens don't fly, mate.
Follow the river. Follow the river. Ah, oh, yeah, right, eh? It was a good joke, you reckon? Bloody hell. But it's not as good as the jokes the other night. Where's the alley, mate? Do, do, do. Yeah, like touring cars, man, you can pretty much show them around and do whatever you want with them. They are a lot of fun. They love curbs. Um, in season one, Jambo and I tried so hard to get a GT4 series going, but we just couldn't get the, uh, we just didn't get the interest. I don't know if you can see that on the stream, but there's the airport. You can just see the lead, the leading lights there. Just there. In the distance. Um. <laughs> yeah, true. True that, mate. True that, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> serious. Oh, serious question. Yeah, man. What is it? Oh, yeah, there's a few mountains there. Nothing to be too concerned about, though. It's got a hand flight now. We left our descent a little late, <clears throat> so we're screaming down, and we'll see how we go. If we have to go around, we will, but we should be right. We should be right, no need to panic, no need to panic. <clears throat> Do some freeway landings, I reckon, during the week. What do you think? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. 
Landed, man. Landed park. Woo. Then to the airport. Small detour. Settle down, man. We're we gonna fly to far out. It's time of night. Can't be serious. Cannot be serious. <laughs> Let's have a look. Where? Oh yeah. There's a road. Captain Matus, welcome aboard, mate. Thanks for jumping in on uh, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe, follow all the channels. We fly regularly, we stream regularly. We're just about to land in Kelowna. So you got to the most interesting part. How are you mate? You fly the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator? Throw it in the chat. My good friend Venom Amber's uh, on board tonight as well. One red and three white. Things looking pretty good. Landing beautiful mate, beautiful. Got it down nice. Got it down nice and easy there. Got it down nice and easy there. Dude, what? Hard landings? Or just flying in general? No, no ATC. Tonight. Just ignoring all that. Just have a little bit of fun. Captain Matus, welcome aboard, mate. Hope you're well. Yeah, so I'm streaming, um, I'm streaming into Twitch and YouTube. So a little icon sort of flashes up on the screen to show where everyone's sort of, uh, jumping in from. So Captain Matus was on the old, uh, on the YTs.
Yep, so the YouTube channel's Massive Simulations 32. We'll just go right down the end here and we'll park up. Hey! The Venom on the YouTubes. Very good, mate. Very good. <laughs> we might just, uh, just f for the next 15 minutes or so, we might just uh, take off and have a bit of a fly around Kelowna. Yeah, I'm not sure what the do. Yeah, this is, must be a delay. I'm not sure how big the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, Streamlabs OBS is the best way to multi-stream. I'm sort of uh, just been testing it out. I seem to be dropping a few frames here and there with it, which isn't ideal. But let's have a fly around. Uh, Kelowna. What are you talking about, mate? No crashing here, mate. No crashing here. out real quick here just real quick something that I found just want to see if anyone can pick the difference and then back out again now I'm not sure weird the way the sim acts so I just really wanted to just run this test because for some
some reason it's futile. Yeah, it's really weird. It's see, it's just a, it's very strange the way it uh, it becomes stuttery. But earlier I was able to just go in here and oh. And just uh, yeah, it could be. Let's see now, it's not too bad. I don't know. Wait, if I try this, um, the render scaling, I could probably drop it down to 80. Actually, we'll try. Try 70 and see what that does. Smooth with very little, uh, you can't even. I'll go ultra high on lower resolutions, you reckon? See, this is so smooth now, it's not funny. can't even tell the difference. I can't tell the difference between this and what it was before. I can probably even go, I can probably even try this. What do you think? I'll go, go high and I'll render it at 80%. Well, oh, actually, I've just got to go down here. <laughs> yes. Try ultra high on low rendering. Okay, hang on. On um, what about if I put it to 70, 70? Let's try that. It's um, it's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's a smooth experience. Go 
lower on render, you reckon? We're at 1080, so HD rent on the render. Oh, smooth as silk. That's crazy smooth. See the cockpit's become a little bit, uh, bit fuzzy. It is good, isn't it? Apple versus Android. What's that mean, man? Thing is probably a little bit too fuzzy. Turn sharpness to zero. Sharpness to zero. All right, so sharpness is set to zero now. Looks nice, right? Landing. Looks all right. Probably sharpen the screen up a little bit more. 
on the actual TV itself. It's pretty good. What an adventure! A little bit of a bonus flight around Kelowna there at the end. It's always fun. We sorted out some settings. Which is leaving everyone happy tonight. I just need to probably sharpen up the monitor a little bit just so I can um, just get a bit of a sharper read on the instruments but they but generally they I mean they're still pretty good as far as some of those small text uh, on the PFD here we'll test it before I so zero sharpness yeah well I had it on 50% so maybe I'll try maybe 25 or 30. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in British Columbia. As we taxi into the GA area. If you just joined the stream and you missed out uh, on most of that flight, we'll be doing the return flight tomorrow. It's always a lot of fun. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. Um, I might just get the. I'll get the. Uh, get the information for that uh, that route and let's do it if 
few dudes there waiting for me. Yeah, I'll, uh, I just want to find what the flight time would roughly be. You know, is it, is it stream worthy, you know what I mean? I'm going to run this bloke over here. But you know what, these blokes, they just get in the way. They just stand everywhere, I don't know what's wrong with these people. One point five hours. Oral warning, okay. Okay, so what do we do it in the uh Jetliner next. Well actually just while we're here, just before you go, let's see the options. Actually, just quickly, just before I forget. Medium. There we go. So I'll just apply that and save it. Uh, go back. Um. Stand by, mate. Let's and what's the name of that airport? Katmandu. Okay. Yeah, music. It's in the sim though. I've got to, I'm going to, I'm going to um, start putting a music bed down for this, these streams. Um, was it uh, Kathmandu? So we'll just uh, Kathmandu. So let's just try something here real quick. To Lukla. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, Lukla. Lukla. Um, oh, well, that's 15 minutes, man. Um, Ladakh. Okay, Ladakh. Search Ladakh. Nah, I need the spelling, man. You need to figure out what it's called. It's not called that. Uh, v V N. Not Lang Tang. L A D. Okay. 
No. Nope. Need some more spelling, brother. Um. Well, hang on. Let's just make this daytime. Uh. So point of interest. Not Perot. <laughs> Sri Lanka. SRI I have a clue what you're on about not letting me send auto mod what are you on about messages what messages man S R uh, yeah S R uh, I what this one three this one here yeah three Sophia Sai is that the one you're talking about Twitch going nuts. Well, let's see what Catman do looks like anyway. the hell I don't even have anything I don't know auto mod check this call. yeah that's really weird man I don't have any Sri Nagar okay I'll just hang a sec Well, how do you say it? Does it say it right? Sri Sri Nagar, Sri Nagar. It's not easy, man. This is not easy. My bloody maps thing's not even loading up. I don't know what's going on now. Tower November 504 Golf Juliet ready for south departure at runway 20. Ah, yep, I'd say so. It's probably what it is. Um, so this is. Wow, so this is Catman Doom, brother. Well, um, how good's that look, eh? What do you reckon? Well, check this out, man. Hang on. Sr 
Street. And, okay. All right, let's go there. Hang on. Uh, all right, we'll just quickly load that in there, and then we'll call it a night. But I reckon, uh, how far away from it is there, man? You reckon an hour? So, okay, so 600, okay. Three. Ah, okay. Here we go. I oh, will just jump on the runway. We'll have a look. Oh, actually, now let's put in Catman Do. Oh, yeah, two hours, ten minutes, but anyway. Have a quick look at this. Going north, okay. Well, maybe tomorrow I'll have a look on the I'll have a look on the uh, world map, and there might be some points of interest that'll come up, and all white mountains, okay. Let's have a look, mate. Let's have a look. Oh wow! To the east and runway one tree. Wow, we check that out, man. Well, that's fantastic. That's cool, man. That's very cool. Oh, there you go, man. That's awesome. So if we just go here, just real quick. Uh, we'll just jump out. go here and if we go there and we'll just make it daytime wow look at that that's all that white mountains you're talking about right there all that brother That's full on. Oh, look at that. If we go to Gandhi International, Taj Mahal, overfly the Taj Mahal. There you go. Look at that. One hour and eight minutes flight.
One hour, 40 minutes, man. Yeah, true. Oh, well, that's cool, man. Well, they're loaded in now. Hang on. So I've got that. Go down to Katmandu. Two hours. Woo! Nice. So I just want to... So have a look at this, right? So my full screen... So that's the resolution of my monitor. So 4K. I could probably bump that up to 80, I reckon. Eight, four, seven, six. Nah, the monitor. I don't know, man. Seventy five inch, man. So I was sixty seventy sixty five. No. It's a 4K Samsung curved display. Yeah. It's the best. You should see it, man. The picture is horrifically awesome. No, nah. no, nah, the resolution's perfect. That's look, you know what? I've um, I reckon it's fine. I reckon it's fine, because I've got a fair, I've got a lot of headroom to play with, man. See eighty. Just for a laugh, because we've got another five minutes before I'll pack it up. Yeah, yeah, no, it's got to... No, I'll stick to 4K. But the uh, resolution scaling is good. So if I go... This is Vancouver, for example. Let's make it. So I never knew there was such a thing as resolution scaling. I always thought you had to match I've never had anything where you have to set your monitor's resolution and then set the scaling. It's just a little bit different. Yeah, good on ya. Well, man, I've been on the Xbox for so long. I stopped play using PCs a long time ago. You don't have to do any of this on the Xbox, man. <laughs> Right, we'll just have a quick look at this. I reckon eighty. I reckon um, eighty percent is is a good good number.
Yeah, so it's beautiful. Smooth. Anyway, it's good. All perfect. And everything looks pretty sharp there in the... Yeah, I can see... Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, well... Let's go like this. Well, I'm going to go up, kick back. I might put a... Who's the best stream to watch, you reckon, from tonight? Halsey, Leroy, okay. I'll have a look, brother. Anyway, on that note, put them all on side. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, but I watch it on TV. I, 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 um, I cast to the TV from my phone. Anyway, brother. Time to uh, split a rooney, my friend. But thanks for jumping on. And uh, we'll do that uh, Catman Do stuff tomorrow. I'll see how we go. I'll try and work out a nice little uh, little route. Sightseeing. Sightseeing in Catman Do. Yeah. <laughs>